say hello to Armstrong. Now he's an athlete and he takes supplements. Supplements such as elite pre-workout caffeine, gold standard whey protein and the ultimate energy. Armstrong believes these supplements will help him train harder for longer, just as it says on the back of most of his supplements he buys. However, what is interesting is that Armstrong may not be benefiting from the ingredients in these supplements it may be that his belief in them causes such an improvement. Research now suggests that an athlete's belief in a sports supplement has a substantial influence on how it affects performance. For example, athletes like Armstrong were asked to take part in a scientific investigation. Armstrong was given a potent anabolic steroid and was told it would improve his strength during various weightlifting exercises. However, what Armstrong didn't know was that the researchers did not give him anabolic steroids. They instead gave Armstrong a placebo. What came next was astonishing. Armstrong, believing to be ingesting an illegal performance enhancing supplement, improved his strength by 5%. And this amount was great enough to take him to an international level status and compete with the best athletes in the world. This all came through his belief and his expectation that the supplement would improve his performance. And this research has been replicated throughout a number of other sports. Take cycling for instance, where athletes, again like Armstrong, were asked to complete three 10 km cycling time trials with the ingestion of either placebo, 4.5 mg of caffeine or 9 mg of caffeine. What Armstrong did not know again was that he received a placebo in each trial. When Armstrong believed that he received a placebo, his performance decreased by 1.4%. But when he believed he had taken 4.5 mg of caffeine, his performance improved by 1.3%. And then, when he believed he had taken 9 mg of caffeine, his performance improved by 3.1%. These improvements are similar to what the actual pharmacological effects of caffeine have demonstrated. Now this research asks us a very important question. How much do our beliefs influence the effectiveness of a supplement? For Armstrong, when he fully believes he has taken a performance enhancing supplement, is he really gaining an extra benefit from that supplement? Or is it just with his belief that the supplement will improve his performance? And what the research has shown for us is that for athletes like Armstrong who take supplements such as caffeine, sodium bicarbonate, leucozade, they are heavily influenced through our beliefs. Is our training, the food we eat, the amount of sleep we have, the shoes we wear also influenced? It may be that to improve our performance we do not need supplements. It could be that self-belief is far more crucial to our performance than any external aid.